on one side of the room is the patient, the most important person in healthcare. And then on the other, there's the clinician. And they're telling stories about who they are, their past medical history, their allergies, you know, that recent hospitalization, or all the pressure and the stress that they're under, you know, in their job. All those stories, that's what the clinician needs to absorb. They need to interview to pull more out of them, and they need to then stylize and sort of structure that documentation that's gonna serve all those different stakeholders, and hopefully, most importantly, serve the patient on their healthcare journey. None of us doctors or nurses went to school and learned anything about revenue cycle. It's a hard challenge for everyone involved because these health systems really want you to understand how to do this because not knowing creates all kinds of thrash downstream and the doctor actually ends up paying the debt. With this new wave of generative AI, it's, it's very easy to create a party trick. It's very difficult to create a platform. It's very difficult to deliver something enterprise grade that can truly scale. We're of course focused on this enterprise healthcare grade platform. That's what our contextual reasoning engine allows for. Because what we are doing is we're pulling in all kinds of like data, metadata, insights, information from any number of seemingly disparate sources. We'll pull in information, for example, from a clinical perspective to understand what is the differential diagnosis for this symptom. Um, we'll also pull in information from all the different insurance companies across the country that allow us to understand what their expectation is for a document that's associated with an order of a specific test. The outputs aren't just the history of present illness and assessment and plan, which were like the primary focus of the initial wave of ambient technologies, but now it's also templated physical exams, it's patient instructions, it's medication orders, it's all this downstream revenue cycle work. And to complete that work, we need to know not just all the information about the patient, all the information about the provider, all the information about the institution, but additionally, what's going on in those downstream workflows? Which billing paradigm are they in? And what are the applicable guidelines to incorporate all that information together in an intelligent way to produce the perfect note that's also simultaneously a clinically useful document and really a bill that can be used to support all those downstream revenue cycle workflows. Doctors have to serve multiple stakeholders with every single one of these artifacts that they're creating. They need to serve revenue cycle because another core insight for us all along is that in this country, but also around the world, doctors aren't compensated for the care that they deliver, they're compensated for the care that they documented that they deliver. We just take all of that work off the doctor's plate. We understand all those rules. We've figured out that this patient has this insurance plan in this geography, this part of the country, and thus your note needs to look like this. Once you see an abridged note post-contextual reasoning engine, it's very difficult to go back. It just feels like a whole new world. There's this incredibly exciting opportunity around bending the trajectory for care itself. Wouldn't it be amazing, you know, if we could create a new floor that is today's ceiling? A next generation of technology more focused on not just faithfully documenting what went on in the visit, but actually helping doctors to make better decisions, to conduct better conversations, to come up with better treatment plans. I used to think that was like five, ten years away, but now it's very clear this is like right now.